Well, we happy for everyone here tonight. I don't wish our good friends back in Oklahoma and other places to be here. And I often think, as you know, and speak about the old times and the old Rush Arbor days and so forth. And maybe some of you don't know, but Brother Morris and pastor of this church that we are making this tape recording for, back in 1921, when I was first converted, Brother Morris take me way out to an old creek they call Mud Creek, and it fitted its name. And he baptized us. He told me he baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, but he never told me what the name was. Seven years from that time, I found out, and so did Brother Morris, so this same Brother Morris, buried me this time in the name of Jesus Christ, which is the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, for a nation of sin. And I'd like to say to Brother and Sister Morris just now that they may have never known it, but many, many times when I was young and discouraged, stumbled along the way, those precious hearts been a stabilizer to me. God bless you, folks. Praise the Lord. I'd like to say to Brother Alvin that we certainly enjoyed your sermon, sermon that you get on the tape recording, you mailed to us. Sister King, Sister Morris also, and others, some voices that we didn't recognize. Brother, Sister Brown, well, all of you, we won't take the time, and our tape doesn't stretch, we want to redeem the time. But tonight, I just feel it a pleasure and a great privilege to tell the people about the good things of God. We see today a great need in the land for the operation of the Spirit of God Amen. and a greater capacity. And I often say I'm satisfied with a quality, but I'm not satisfied with a quantity. And my heart's desire is to grow and grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And so tonight, we're going to uh, talk about three great men of the Bible. First, David, then Enoch, and then Elijah. We want to talk about a man that, after God's own heart, and this man was just in human flesh like you and I. He loved God. But when a man fails to pray, he fails to honor God as he knows he should, then a time of when weakness is overtaken. And we find David, a great man, that was like this, and whenever that he is overtaken in a time of weakness. And so, 